poppin' YouTube world, your boy Justin here again as always, aka Adobe One Kenobi, back with another earth-shattering, mind-blowing, spiritual tutorial for anyone interested in learning things on their computer. Now with that being said, today we're going to be talking about the trippy parallax effect. I call it trippy because the word trippy does really good in keyword searches and I'm trying to get them views and in turn get them Benjamin's baby and maybe a little bit of clout because apparently that's a form of currency these days. Now the parallax, I'm going to show you how to do two ways. One is with a photo and the second is with video. So strap into your little boot skis there and roll that intro. Oh, All right, so once you have your photo open in Photoshop, click the pen tool and then make an outline of the subject by clicking around the perimeter. And then you're gonna wanna right click and hit make selection and set the feather radius to 0 0.5. Now go up to select and hit inverse. And now you're gonna wanna hit command C and command V to copy and paste the cutout subject onto its own layer. And you'll notice if you toggle the eye icon, they are on separate layers and totally separate from each other. Now select your foreground layer, go up to select, modify and expand and set that to 10. And then we're going to command click on the background layer to bring up our selection again. Go over to edit down to fill, make sure content aware is selected and hit okay. Now this is just going to fill in our selection space with what the program thinks is the background. All right, so now our final step in Photoshop is to export the layers individually. So hide one, go up to file export as PNG, and then do the reverse, hide the other one and export it as a PNG as well. All right, now with both your layers in Premiere, drop them into a sequence with the foreground one on top and the background on the bottom. Drag it out to as long as you want. And then we're going to set a keyframe at the start and finish of both clips. For the bottom layer, we are going to slowly decrease the scale of the clip over the duration of the entire sequence. And for the top foreground layer, we are going to do the exact same thing, except we are going to slowly increase the scale. So this will give us a cool parallax effect. All right, so for the video parallax effect portion, you're gonna need a clip that already has tracking backwards in it, like this clip here, which I filmed to be like this. And then we're going to set a scale keyframe at the beginning and the ending of the clip and slowly increase the scale over time so that we get this cool looking parallax effect. You'll notice the background looks like it's getting bigger as we pull away and we still look like we're zooming in. And there you have it folks, another out of body experience tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you did hit that thumbs up button, let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. I really want to find out from you guys because I am running out of ideas and I'd really like to start touching on things that you guys actually want to know. Not to say I haven't been, but I do need some answers from you. So hit the comments, let me know. And finally hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I post every Thursday and sometimes more. And until next time, Peace.